something I see a lot is people not fully understanding how to embed forms inside of your website and when to do it. So I'm going to be using my favorite website builder, which is Squarespace. I've used Wix. I've used WordPress. Um, but honestly, Squarespace is foolproof and it forces you to stay inside the lines, which um, I need because I can get a little creative and a little outside the lines. Um, so I th I'm grateful that they forced me to stay inside and in a controlled way. Anyways, so I'm going to show you how to embed a Dubsado form, like a lead form, a contact form, um, and a um, scheduler. And I'm also going to show you how to embed a Flowdesk form sign up form for emails and flowdesk is awesome you should try it for your email marketing and let's go all right so we're going to start by dropping in a lead capture form into squarespace so from dubsado into squarespace i'm going to hit on templates forms and this is my test account so these are just all the sample forms that dubsado puts in your account so i'm just going to do the sample lead capture form i'm going to open it up it has just some basic information. Um, you can add more information if you want. You can just drag and drop um, whatever questions you have into it. And then we're gonna share. We're going to copy, double click, and copy this entire block of code. And I'm gonna go over to my website. I just have a completely blank website pulled up inside of Squarespace. I'm going to add just a blank section and we're just going to drop in a code block. So I'm going to hit that plus, I'm going to hit code, I'm going to highlight this guy and then paste in that code I just copied over. I'm going to hit done and save and my form is there. Let's make sure on a mobile everything's good. Perfect. That lead capture form is there. What I would like to do, um, just so people know like what they're filling out, is add a text block. We'll just go here. I want to move that guy up. We're going to say um, contact form. And then we can change the style. lovely well i would change my spacing on it but there we go um it's on it if we wanted to instead share a scheduler templates scheduler here we have a free consultation biggest thing you want to do though is make sure in your advanced settings of your scheduler that your additional form has a lead capture on it if you're putting it on your website. So I'll go ahead and save that. There's other settings here. I would also make sure like reminder emails are going out, a confirmation email goes out, but just we're just talking about embedding right now. So I'm going to hit this link and I get another huge block of code to insert. So let's come back over here. Let's replace the contact form code with the code that we just copied. And here I have the consultation, the date, they can pick it, the time, and then when they hit, submit and next, it makes them fill out the contact form. If you just put the scheduler in without a lead capture form, it'll take their name and email address, but it will not be connected to a project. And projects in Dubsado are where the magic is at. You can get automations going from there. You can make sure all their information is in one place. So you always want to make sure you have a lead capture form on a um and anything that is embedded on your website 
Now, appointments that are on your website should only be for the public to see. If you are wanting to send a schedule to somebody who's already a client, let's say you're a coach and you want someone to just book a session with you, if you're wanting to track it inside Dubsado, you do need to send that scheduler within the project. Um, and so you would not use your website for that. And you would not want to just copy this hype, this direct link and share it um, with somebody because like that's already a client because it's not going to be tied to their project. You have to send it inside of their project. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to talk about Flowdesk. I'll come over to my Flowdesk. Here at Flowdesk, you have the four different types up top. You have emails, forms, workflows, and audience. Now, what happens is the first thing you want to do is connect, is build out and create an audience here that your form is going to put them into. Whoever fills out their name and email on your form, there's going to automatically be inside of that audience. So first you create your audience, second you create your form, and third you create your workflow or email depending on what you're doing next. So I already have my um, audience built and I even already have my forms configured. So I have a inline form there and I have a ribbon banner here that I don't think I'm currently using anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and embed this inline. So here you're going to see something a little different than you do with Dubsado. You have a header code and you have the inline code. This header code, you're going to go ahead and copy and paste it. I'm going to show you where to put it inside of your Squarespace. So we're going to come over to settings and I keep getting in the way. <laughs> and then advanced code injection. And then I already have my flow desk here, but you would go ahead in the, your header and paste what we just copied there. I can even just highlight it and paste it. Done. Perfect. And now I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back. Let's edit this page. I'm going to go ahead and change this code then to this inline code. And let's go ahead and save it. And now I have that code embedded just as it was built out. If I go back to the inline, let's do that again. I'm going to embed. When you're in it and editing it, embedding it is one of the options but you can always, after the fact, get it here. Now my header code is the same no matter the form, so you only have to do that once, um, even if you have multiple forms. You just have to put that bad boy in one time, and then you can add in all the forms that you want. So I'm gonna go Control A to select everything, and then Control V to paste it, and we're going to hit Save. Perfect. And now my inline is there. Obviously, I would change my header. Um, there's so many different ways to make your inline look. Um, so in the design of it, we could, I don't have a background on here, but you could. There's just so many different ways to make it work on your website. But that is how you embed your forms for Dubsado and Flowdisk inside of your Squarespace. If you use Wix or WordPress, it is super similar to this. Um, your heading place is going to be somewhere, somewhere different, um, but how you embed your code is going to be just the same as it is here in Squarespace. 
Well, I hope that was super helpful for you in figuring out what forms to embed and how to do it inside of your Squarespace. Drop a comment below if it was helpful. Drop a comment for another video you want to see. I am Lauren with The Smarter Creative, helping creative small business owners um, just work smarter instead of harder. I would love to work with you if you are trying to do this yourself and you are just like, what on earth is happening? Um, I do VIP days and bigger set up with Dubzato um, in your website. So my link is below if you want to work with me. Uh, check out my Instagram, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.